For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, let's do this problem where they tell you that the output resistance of a signal source, although inev inevitable, is an imperfection that limits the ability of the source to deliver its full signal strength to a load. So I want you to do this problem to see this problem more clearly. And they want you to look at these two figures. And they want you to find the output voltage and output currents with respect to RL. So basically what you got to do to do this problem is the voltage divider. So for example, in this first part where you got VS, you got RS and RL and you want to know the output of the voltage. How do you find the output of the voltage? VO is equal to a voltage divider between RL and RS which will be the resistance of RL over the total resistance RL plus RS times of course VS but the thing is usually ideally RS is so slow so close to zero that VO is almost equal to VS you shouldn't be see any noticeable difference now to find the current going through RL on this Norton represented source on the second one on part B. This is the Thevenin, this is Norton. You gotta do a current divider. Current divider. To do the current divider, you know that the output current is equal to the input current times the smaller of the two of course the other one because if you're trying to calculate the current going through RL you got to put the RS at the top so it's RS over the total resistance which is RS plus RL on the voltage divider on the top you put the same resistance where you're measuring the voltage across and on the current divider you put the other resistance Having said, this is how you find the output current. And same thing as before, the output current is almost equal as the current originally coming out of the source because RS is very, very, very close to zero. RS is very close to zero. Not zero, but very, very close. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.